Cheers to the dick. <laughs>welcome to my channel it's your girl angelica butte and i'm back with another video so in today's video we will be getting ready for that dick that dick period <laughs> no i'm just playing but yes so this is my get ready with me dick appointment comment like and subscribe to my video and also share to all your friends because girl i'm about to give y'all that tea i'm about to give y'all the tea but let's get into the video. So the first, first thing that you must do is get your hygiene together. That comes washing, shaving, brushing your teeth, washing your face, all that type of stuff. So I already did that. Shaving, if it's your first or whatever, if, if y'all, this is your first appointment, I definitely would recommend shaving that kitty cat. I mean, me. He be alright. He be alright today. But <laughs> no, nah, this is not the first dick appointment. But no, no, no. I'm just playing. You want to make sure that you shave that cootie cat. But I will say, name a nigga that denied some because of hair. It is 2020. If your nigga is denying you for some hair, he got to go. He got to go. I said what I said. If you like to shave, what I use, I use Nair for shaving. So I already shaved, I shaved my underarms. Um, I do like a little bit of my stomach and then I do, you know, the kitty cat and the legs. You gotta shave the legs. My, whew, my fine gal. If you shave your legs before you go to a dick appointment, He's gonna love you. He's gonna love you because your, your body's just gonna be so freaking soft. He's really gonna love you. But when I did take a shower, I used the Dove. Y'all all probably use Dove. But um, the pampering one, the shea butter and warm vanilla, that's my favorite. So I use that. And then I also use African black soap. And this is actually straight from Ghana because my boyfriend is from Ghana and they actually make this stuff. It's called V Fresh and it's really really good. But yeah, so I also use a lip scrub before I have before I go out on special occasions like this because of the fact that you just want your lips to feel good and like after this, just scrub it up there, you be good. Like I'm soft right now. Mwah. Kiss me. So I use a washcloth to wash, of course, but I also use this. So this is just like a really long loofah basically like literally you have not washed if you have not washed with this like you could probably find this on maybe like amazon or something i'm pretty sure but it's like a netted material it's very harsh it's very harsh at first like when you first buy it but once you keep washing over and over it gets softer and softer okay beauties so we just had to change locations real quick you want to make sure that your wig is secure you want to because that is embarrassing. That is so embarrassing if your wig falls off. <laughs> but I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna lie, like back in high school, senior year, I was not no little high schooler who was doing all that, disclaimer. But when I was in high school, you know, we was woo-hooing. Doop dub a Oh! Oh! yep. <laughs> Woo in that bitch. I used to wear my hair in a ponytail the entire, like for a whole year, I wore my hair in a ponytail because I was transitioning into being natural. So I just had this big ass ponytail on top of my head. And I don't know what position we were in, but it just flew because I was like low key bald headed back then. I was low key bald headed. So it just like flew, like the fake ponytail just flew off. I was literally like, in the dark looking for my freaking ponytail to like hold it back up to try to put it back in there while keeping the rhythm <laughs> but so after the shower you gotta moisturize so i use some african shea butter and this is what i put mine in so i literally 
you know how you go to the store and you see it in the tubs i don't like that i don't like the tubs so this is like a huge block okay y'all get the point but it's just a huge lump of shea butter and what i do is i double the bag so i put it in two plastic bags so that it can hold in like all the moisture so that's what i do and i put this all over my body like i wish i could feel my skin right now this is one of my favorite lotions like i always use this i've been using it for a while if it can like well, it's called In The Stars 24 Hour Body Lotion, Shea Butter and Vitamin E. Everything has to be shea butter in it. But um, I got this from Bath & Body Works. So it smells really, really good. It smells really good. And I put this on after I put the shea butter on. But dang, I barely got any left. Dang, your girl must have had a lot of appointments. <laughs> I did not. <laughs> I'm gonna just put this all over my face. So when you have an appointment, I really don't like to put on that that much makeup because I feel like a lot of times if they come over, you know, it's a little different. But if I'm going over there, a lot of times like I spend the night or if I don't spend the night, like I stay there like throughout the whole night so my makeup would be on like for so long and i don't like that so i don't like to put too too much what i like to do is just do my eyebrows like i'm gonna go for like a really natural look just like an everyday not even like i really don't even want to put that much makeup on like you really don't have to put that much makeup on. Because trust me, sweetie, if he really likes you, he's not worried about your makeup. He is worried about your true self. Yeah. Before you go to that appointment, you got to make sure if this is something that you really want to do. Like, a lot of these guys out here, they are very pushy, like, they are so pushy. They literally will ask you and ask you and ask you, but yet they don't bring nothing to the table, like nothing to the table. So I would definitely just be sure that this is something you wanna do. Don't let it be in a necessary body, another one. Don't let it be another body. Do not. I hate that. I hate that. When you think it's about to be mm, a body wasted. But that's the thing. You never know. Like, even not even saying like body wasted as like, oh, he was a fuckboy, whatever. But just like in terms of it being good, like, dang, you was trash. You were trash. Like, that's embarrassing. Honestly, that's embarrassing for guys. One thing you also wanna make sure you do is that you smell really good. So, what I like to do is not while I'm getting ready, but like right before I leave, that's when I like to add my perfume or like some body oils or just anything that I have that would make me smell good. I like to do that right before I leave. I even might bring it in the car with me, like, cause I need you to be like, damn girl, you smell good. Like right when you see me, make sure I put some, you gotta put some brow gel on, especially today. Cause my brow's about to get messed up. We about to be all over the pillows, going crazy. Yeah, I would definitely say, just make sure you smell good. Um, I also, the lotion, I put this lotion, I put it like, I put it like on the back of my neck and I put it like right here. I'll do this like little circular motion, like just put it on my chest because you know, he gonna be kissing up on your neck. 
so you don't want to put too much lotion there like i put lotion there like right when i get out the shower i put the shea butter there but the smelly lotion it just has too much stuff in it i feel like it's gonna taste nasty like it's gonna make your neck taste nasty and neck kissing turns me on so i need them to continue but you know what like us girls we do too much like we think about too much stuff like guys some guys probably don't even wash before a freaking appointment like it's crazy like i'm talking about lotion so they don't taste that on the neck some guys necks be salty as hell like hmm how you gonna come meet me with a salty neck like i just don't understand but okay so this concealer i really like this one the nicks can't stop won't stop 10 white toes nah but it be covering up everything everything Cause we like him, and we like him too. <laughs> and then we need to be woken up, so we gotta cover these bags. We don't want him to think that we sleepy. And. I'm gonna put my Huda Beauty in the color Pound Cake. Put a little bit of this on me. Just to kind of make my makeup stay a little bit. Because you never know what might happen. You never know what you might do. But I think when it's like your when you never had like sex with somebody before i love that like it's just so exciting to me like i'm not gonna say like i definitely don't like it more than you know having sex with somebody who you know like your boyfriend but it is exciting because you don't know what they can do so you have like i give people high hopes like I think everybody's gonna do pretty good, but maybe I shouldn't because then I get disappointed when it's not up to par. I don't really like to let it bake for a long time because it's just gonna make me look white. Just take a dab of this and just go on my cheeks just to kind of like put some warmth in my face because of all that highlight and everything put a little bit of this back in there and then i put some on my chin like my jawline i don't even know why i put it on my jawline that's just what they say to do <laughs> that's just what they say so i do that and then i do like this now we're gonna do my hair oh sis make sure that your hair is washed like please let your hair oh shoot i forgot something but please let your hair be washed please let your hair be washed like literally especially if you work in the club if you work in a fish market if you just be lazy as fuck and don't be wanting to wash your wig, wash your wig before you go to a dick appointment because y'all gonna be chilling, like cuddling and shit and like, he's gonna smell it. Like, ugh. Don't get me wrong, he's not gonna deny you. <laughs> he's not gonna deny you. Even if your wig sinks, he's not gonna deny you. But just, come on, let him be comfortable. Like you want people to be comfortable with you, so. You don't want him to be like, damn, when you leave to his boys, like, damn, that bitch wig stunk. <laughs> That's embarrassing. <laughs> but yeah, I'm just putting on this like extra bronzer. It has like some pinky tones in it and a little bit of shimmer. 
this it's the milani big bronzer in the color glow number four glow so i just do that i just cut a little bit more of the bronzer take this little brush and contour my nose a little bit because your girl got a flatty i have a big nose i have a big flat nose so this is like <laughs> This is a necessity for me because I need this to sling down my nose. See, I need just to sling down my nose a little bit and contour a little bit more. Then I take the Mario Badescu, the rose water spray to set my face. And then I'm just gonna put some lip gloss on. I'll put that on last after I do my hair because my lip gloss is like really gooey. So it gets stuck in my hair and I hate that. A little bit. This is like holy grail. Like, I don't know what I was doing. But you also wanna make sure like when you do go on a different appointment, oh my hair nappy. But when you do go on an appointment, that y'all use protection. Like, woo! Use protection. Like so many guys out here, they're just doing whatever they want. Literally. With whoever. So you never know, like especially if y'all are not in a relationship, even when you are in a relationship, like that don't mean nothing nowadays, like for real, for real. So just wrap it up always. What I like to do too, is like when you there, just see what he do, don't say nothing. If he automatically like goes for a rubber, then he all right, like he got some sense, like, you know what I mean? But like, if he don't pull out no rubber, Baby girl, woo! I don't know if you should kiss him tonight. I'm not a big kisser. I'm really not a big kisser either. Like there was this post on like IG and it was this guy, I don't know who he was, but he was getting interviewed and he was like, oh, he doesn't kiss, you know, girls. Like he doesn't kiss everybody, and but he has sex with them. Which to me, I mean, that's crazy like you're willing to have sex with somebody but you're not willing to like kiss them but again i don't like to kiss either like i'll kiss you but like i will not tongue kiss you like if i tongue kiss you i really like you but I'm not out here kissing all these niggas because first of all niggas be eating ass like for JJ like everything the end they be tch, out here they be eating niggas asses and probably fake for JJ's too like you never know you know how people have like like things that just is like oh I just don't like spit in slobber like i really gotta be feeling you like you gotta be my man always make sure you bring some gum with you because me like whenever i'm chilling with somebody like you know sometimes we may be drinking or like you know maybe a little puff puff we may do so you know you just want your breath to be fresh always and even if his breath is not fresh, you could be like, hey, you want a piece of gum, you know? But honestly, like, that's a big turn off. Like, <laughs> if your breath stinks, you lost me. You lost me. Freshness is number one. Freshness and cuteness. You just gotta be cute, fresh, and in the mood. That's all you need. That's all you need. Because these curls, they're gonna drop. They definitely gonna drop. Especially when it starts getting hot and lusty. Comment below how y'all get it started. Like, 
does everybody just put on Netflix? Like, I don't know. I feel like it's 2020. Like, we need to start doing a little something different. Like, I feel like whenever it's either Netflix or we'll just like do YouTube and just like put on some Magda songs and just kind of like chill or just talk about stuff. But I don't know. I feel like doing something a little spectacular, you know? But you know, like having sex with a person, that's a really great way to get to know somebody. It is. It's a good way to get to know somebody. Like I wouldn't recommend. So my wig is definitely not. <laughs> definitely not secure on the edges, but that's okay because I always wear my hair just like this. like. Get it like a little curl and also what i like to do too i'll probably wear wear something like really chill i love going like i love going places when i don't have no bra so then it's like you know they don't have to be fiddling with it and it's just something extra like it's like oh i'm ready um but you know, I don't be doing all that. Like, I'm not coming over. I'm not coming over with no lingerie. Like, I feel like that stuff you do with like your man. Cause every nigga should not get that from me. They should not. Cause these niggas don't deserve it. They barely deserve it. <laughs> and also, make sure you tell somebody where you are like if you are in a city by yourself like if you you know don't know this man and y'all just started talking and it's just been good but this is your first time like doing anything sexual with him you don't know these people are really crazy out here like they can always take advantage of you and even if you went over there that doesn't mean you have to have sex like that does not mean you have to have sex like <laughs> I'm not saying, you know, play with them. Well, you can play with them if you want. <laughs> All right, and then I got Argan Oil Morocco Penetrating Oil. I just put a dab of this, like literally a dab. And I just, just to help the flyaways and to make my hair a little shiny and then i just put a little bit of the got to be i really should not use this because sometimes it makes your hair all hard like if this is the wrong hairspray but this all i got right now so we gotta use what we got finally i'm using the vital lip rose hip oil lip gloss my beauty supply store I have like all the flavors. I really like the green one. The green one is like my favorite, but cut this one and make it all glossy. Mm. Yeah. I'm gonna spray one more time. I don't know why I do that. It just feels good. Like I feel refreshed, rejuvenated. But yeah. So now we done with the hair and makeup. I'm gonna see what I'm gonna wear. Okay, so this is what I decided to wear. This is also the perfume that I'm gonna wear. It's Miss Dior. Yeah, so I was right, Miss Dior. Now also, I sprayed some in my hair because your hair really, your hair keeps in a lot of smells. Like, And like I was saying before, I don't like to spray too much on my neck, so I spray it in my hair, and he gonna love it. So I decided just to wear this. It's like a cute little two-piece set. It's cute or whatever. They're short, so that's just what it is. So that's what I'm gonna wear. Cheers to the day. 
Tequila. Thank y'all for watching. Please comment, like, and subscribe if you like this video. Also, share it to your friends. And follow your girl on IG at AngelicasX33. And also, please, please, please make sure you subscribe. Please subscribe. You know you want to. You know you want to. But thank y'all for watching. Bye, beauties.